This is Geometry, Chapter 9, Lessons 1 and 2, Questions from Homework. All right, so the first question was number 26 on page 341. Okay, it's sort of in the middle of a problem. <clears throat> All right, so it says copy and mark the figure. So let me erase this. So we will copy it. And this is A, B, C, M, N, O. The sides of M and O are the mid segment. So that equals that. That equals that, and that equals that. All right. So we also know that, what else do we know about the mid segment? It is, yes? Uh, para, para, para. Yeah, parallel to the, to the third side. The Right, and half, half its length, right? So MN is parallel to AC, it's also half of AC, right? Okay, so what, number 26 says, what two conclusions can you make about MNO, AMO, BMN? All of these smaller triangles, C and O. What conclusions can you make about them? Yes. They are congruent. Because, okay, look at this. This is three tick marks and three tick marks. So MN has to be three, because that would be half of it, right? Make sense? Same here. This would be two. Same here, this would be one. So they are congruent by side, side, side. Right? Make sense? Okay. Number 46. If I can get to it, 46. Okay. Let me draw this. So, we have these two triangles. Well, we have these two lines first. And then, notice that's in a little U shape. And then, we have this other one. And they're parallelograms and we have some markings here. I'm about to sneeze. <coughs> Thank you. <coughs> like I'm in threes, always. <coughs> okay. All right. A, B, C, D, E, F. All right. A, B, C, D. So this right here is a parallelogram. A, B, C, D. And it says A, B, E, F. A, B, E, F. So this right here, the parallelogram. If this is a parallelogram, then we should know some size. Okay. So why is AD, why is AD equal to BC? Well, opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal. Exactly right. Why is AD parallel to BC? Opposite sides of a parallelogram are parallel. Why does angle A, ADF, ADF, why does it equal BCE? 
Uh, Hannah? Is it parallel lines form equal corresponding angles? Parallel lines form equal corresponding angles. Yes. These are parallel lines. These are corresponding angles. This top line is your transversal. All right. Why does DC, DC equal FE? Why does DC, that length, equal FE? Jake? Because, well, I guess it's substitution. It is substitution, because why? Because AB equals DC and AB also equals FE. Yes. Because AB is in this parallelogram, it equals the opposite side. AB is also in this parallelogram, it equals FE bad E. So by substitution, DC equals FE. Why does DF, DF, ah, this is a good one. Why does DF equal CE? Hannah? So D E equals D C plus C F. Wait, D F D F equals what? D E. I think we have to use this D C. D F yeah. Yeah. equals D C plus C F. C F. And equals C F. So CE equals the FE plus CF. CF. So through, we've just, added, we've just added the same value to each side. That's why, it's addition. Why does triangle ADF, why is this purple triangle congruent to the blue one, Jaden? Side angle side, right? That's what we just got this last side. Side angle side. Why number 52 are the areas of those triangles equal? Nora. Congruent triangles have equivalent areas or congruent areas. All right, let's move to lesson two. Number 10. <clears throat> okay, why do you suppose, suppose is a key word, there are laws regarding the size of mesh used in fishing. This, the answer has nothing to do with geometry. Why do you suppose, why do you think, Nora? It's so that the baby fish can get out. It controls the size of fish that you catch. I mean, it's against the law to catch fish on your ship, so it's... Okay, there we go. Had nothing to do with geometry, did it? But it did because, right? They use, they, it's applied geometry. That's right. All right, number 39. So number 39 is on... Page 348. Okay, <clears throat> sort of in the middle. Suppose the awkward region. Okay, that awkward region, I guess, is that region in the middle. Suppose the awkward region is two centimeters into the page instead. What percent of the area of the map would be the awkward region? So it's got to be the awkward region over the hole. What's the, what's the awkward region? Well, if it's two centimeters, it says the map, what, is 24 by 20? Mm -hmm. 
if it's two centimeters into the page, what is the map? Okay, this is 24 by 20. This is two centimeters. This is two centimeters. This is two centimeters. That is two centimeters. So what is the length of this? 20. And what is the length of this? 16. Right, you have to take the two centimeters off of both the edges. Okay, this is very much like what I see on the ACT. All right, so what percent of the area of the map would be in the, is this the awkward region on the inside? I think it's the red. The red is. So it's the whole minus what's in the middle. So what's 20 by 24? Is that 480? 480 is the whole. What's inside? What's 20 by 16? Three Is that 320? Yeah. So the awkward region is 160. It wants to know what? It's, it's, and so the percent is 33 Yeah, you take the 160 divided by the whole. When you have percent, you multiply it by 100. So it's 33 and a third. All right. That was 39. 40. Now we have wallpaper. <clears throat> the wallpaper is sold in 36 square foot rolls. The most common widths are 20 and 27 inches. How many feet long is a roll of wallpaper with a width of 20 inches? So if it has 20 inches, how, how long is the roll? How do we figure that out? We have a width of 20 inches. What is the length? If we know that wallpaper is sold in 36 square, 36 square foot feet rolls. Can we go inches to feet? We have to go feet to feet, don't we? So 20 inches is how many feet? 12 inches in a foot, there's eight left over. So what is eight twelfths? Is that three? Is that Two how many? Two thirds. Two thirds. Ah, that's not a bad, that's a bad number, isn't it? Because decimal wise, decimal wise. Okay. I almost want to convert my feet to inches. All right. So it's 36 feet squared, I want it to go to inches. So I need feet in the denominator, inches, but I need to square it. <coughs> so it's 12 over one. So what's 36 times 144? <coughs> and we'll get square inches. What is that? 36 times 144. 5184. 5184 inches squared, all right? So, 20 inches by some length is going to be 5184 inches squared. This is inches. That's going to be inches. We divide by 20, and we get the length. What is it? How many? Uh, I got 259.2. 259.2 inches. All right, that's 39. Nope, 
Did we do 39? Yeah, that's 40. Okay, 41 is, if it's 27 inches. So take this 5184 and divide by, yes? Okay, so then you take this, right, and divide it by 12. So that is what? 21? 21.6 feet, if it's 20 inches, take this now and divide by 27. And what is that in inches? 5184 divided by 27. How many? How many inches? What's 5184 divided by 27 in your calculation? 182? 192 inches divided by 12 to get to feet? 16 feet. If it's 27 inches wide, you have 16 feet. If it's 20 inches wide, you have 21.6 feet. My answers are logical, right? All right, 42. The rule for estimating the number of rolls needed to paper a room is to assume that each roll will cover square feet. Why not 36 square feet? Okay, this has nothing to do with geometry. Why would you say 30 feet instead of 36? Nora. Patterns, patterns. You have to match patterns. What was I supposed to do that? It's the, it's the answer key. The pattern, okay? 44. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go to 44. The rule continues. Multiply the room's perimeter by its height and divide by 30 and round up. Okay, multiply the room's perimeter by its height and divide by 30 and round up. Okay, so you're getting the area. You're dividing it by 30 feet because that's what, you're, you're really getting the area of the room in square feet you're dividing that by 30, which is how much coverage you're going to get per roll, all right? And you're rounding up because you don't buy a half a roll, do you? Or a third of a roll, you buy a whole roll. Okay. Why does multiplying the room's perimeter by its height give? I just told you. It gives you the area on the walls, right? That's 43. After dividing by 30, why not just round the answer to the nearest number? I just told you. Because you don't buy a half a roll, a third of a roll, a fourth of a roll, you buy whole rolls. They don't sell them in fractional rolls. So that's why you round up, okay? All right, there we go.